Hello， 大家好，欢迎嚟到 Learn Fly Melbourne， 我系呢个导师 Clement。今日我哋要讲嘅系 PPL 入面嘅 Basic Navigation Technique。咁今日咧就会带大家由 Melbourne Ferry l a t r o t Ferry 降落咗，又再起飞，喺 l a t r o t Ferry 飞经过 l i a n g a t h a c a r e n 再翻去 Melbourne 降落嘅。咁飞嘅途中咧都会讲解一下唔同嘅 Inbound 同 Outbound Procedure。Basic navigation technique 包括 track keeping 同埋 map reading。咁如果我哋有 defy 咗我哋嘅 track 嘅話咧，都會做一啲特別嘅措施去我哋 correct 我哋嘅 track 嘅。再者喺一啲無人管制嘅 airport 嘅時候咧，都有特定嘅措施去做 inbound 同 outbound， 所以都係非常之有趣，所以大家就要睇到最後啦。喺啱起飛之後咧，當啱轉向咗第一個 leg 嘅方向嘅時候，仲喺 climb 緊嘅時候就可以進行一個快速嘅 clear check。C L E A R C course， 咁就核對翻依家飛緊嘅 heading 同 track 係正確噶啦。L lead out feature 就揾一啲大啲嘅 feature 去確保我哋依家 track 景嘅大致上方向係正確嘅。E engine oil t s and p e a c e in green。A altitude 同 air space altitude 咁睇翻我哋 plan 嘅 altitude 係幾多，睇下仲要幾多要爬升啦。Airspace 就睇翻我哋以上嘅 control airspace 係幾多，要 make sure 我哋唔會 bust 任何嘅 control airspace。啊 ，radio 係確保我哋依家嘅 radio frequency 係正確啦。如果我哋已經 pass 咗 Melbourne 嘅 three mile boundary 之後咧，我哋就要 activate Melbourne Centre 嘅 frequency 啦。今晚抵達 top of climb 啱開始 cruising 嘅時候咧，就係做 clear off 嘅時候啦。C L E A R O F F。Compass， 首先咧就要對翻我哋 magnetic compass 同埋 h s i 所顯示 heading 係咪一致 ？L log， 咁就我哋嘅 flight log 入面咧寫翻低需要寫嘅數字，就根據翻 Robin 嘅 actual time departure 去計算翻每一個 waypoint 嘅 estimate time of arrival。E engine， 確保引擎嘅一切讀數係喺綠色嘅範圍以內咯。A altitude 同埋 airspace。altitude 保持緊我哋 plan 咗嘅高度啦 ，airspace 依家同之後咧都係唔會 bust 到任何嘅 control 或者 restricted airspace。啊 radio 寫翻依家同埋之後會用到嘅 radio frequency， 譬如話下一個嘅 Melbourne Centre frequency 啦，或者 C T F frequency。O orientation 定位就要喺地圖上面揾翻現在飛機嘅位置啦。定位嘅時候咧都有一個套步驟需要 follow 嘅，咁呢個步驟咧就叫 clock map。Ground clock 用現在嘅時間比較翻飛機出發嘅時間，就可以得到飛機喺空中嘅時間。咁用呢個空中嘅時間咧，去對正翻我哋嘅 ground speed。假設係大概一百二十 knot 嘅話 ，two miles per minute 咧，就可以計算翻飛機大概飛咗嘅距離係幾多。由得到嗰個距離之後咧，就可以喺地圖上邊揾翻飛機大概嘅位置，就輪到 map 啦。Map 然後就用飛機飛咗嘅距離。喺地圖上面相關嘅位置揾三個 feature， 佢哋可以係山、公路、城鎮、水塘等等嘅 big feature， 然後就嘗試喺地面揾翻嗰三個喺地圖揾嘅 feature， 然後將自己定位 ground。當你可以確認自己嘅位置之後咧，就喺地圖上面畫一個交叉，然後再畫翻現在嘅時間，就代表係 orientate 咗啦。F fuel。咁起飛嗰陣咧，係會用到 right tank 嘅，咁咧就可以 right tank 嘅 on time 嗰度寫翻我哋嘅 departure time。再者咧，就可以 lean 個 mixture 去減低燃油嘅消耗。F force landing 就喺飛機嘅四周揾空曠嘅地方，萬一有需要嘅話，可以進行緊急降落。Revise ETA 咧都有唔同嘅方法嘅，譬如話可以用 midway assessment point 啦，或者甚至乎用一個普通嘅 orientation 嘅 position fix 咧都可以 revise ETA。首先咧，要將飛機嘅地圖定位用 clock map ground g u a r d three features 嘅呢個方法。然後要量度同目的地嘅距離，之後用上 ground speed 同埋 flight computer 就計算到飛呢段距離所需要嘅時間啦。咁呢段時間加上現在嘅時間，就係我哋 arrival 嘅 ETA 啦。計算 top descent 之後，就會知道幾時開始要下降啦。計算嘅方法就係我哋用下降嘅平均速率係大概五百 feet per minute。假設我哋嘅 cruising altitude 係五千五百尺。然後我哋要下降至機場嘅 overfly height 係一千七百尺，咁下降嘅高度咧就係三千八百尺啦。咁我哋將佢 round up 去到四千尺，咁用五百尺嘅速率 per minute 就要八分鐘。咁我哋就要再加分鐘。
嘅意思就係我哋喺 ETA 九分鐘之前咧，就要開始下降啦。當 navigate 緊嘅時候，發現飛機 off track 嘅話咧，就需要做到 track correction 啦。咁 track correction 一般而言咧，我哋係會做 one in sixty 嘅。one in sixty 嘅 rule of thumb 就係、是、當飛機係飛咗 sixty mile， 但係飛機係 one mile off track 嘅話咧，呢、這個 off track 嘅 degree 咧就係 one degree。但如果飛機係飛咗 sixty mile， 但係 five mile off track 嘅話咧，個 off track 嘅 degree 就係 five degrees。假設啦，當我哋喺 midway assessment point 嘅時候，發現飛機係 five mile off track， 而我哋知道 midway assessment point 咧係距離我哋出發地三十三 mile， 距離我哋嘅目的地亦都係三十三 mile， 咁我哋就當佢係三十 mile five mile off track。如果飛機喺三十 mile 嘅時候已經係 five mile off track。如果你放大呢個三角形嘅話，去到 sixty mile 嘅話，就係 ten mile off track。意思就係我哋已經係 ten degree drifted off track 啦。咁如果我哋要 correct 我哋嘅 heading 嘅話咧，我哋實際上係要 correct more than ten degrees。我哋要將兩個三角形嘅內角去相加。如果係 off track to the right 嘅話咧，我哋就要 turn left by twenty degrees 先可以飛翻去我哋嘅目的地。喺到達第一個機場二十個 mile 之前咧，就可以開始用 arrival data card 去進行一個 arrival briefing， 去講翻點樣去 inbound 呢個機場啦。要注意嘅事項咧，就譬如係 overfly height、circuit height 同埋 airport 嘅 elevation 係幾多啦。如果個機場有 AWS 嘅話咧，亦都可以 tune into AWS 去得到風速同埋風向，咁啊大概可以估計到邊一條跑道係會用嚟起飛同降落啦。咁就用翻嗰條跑道就可以預計到我哋嘅 inbound procedure 係點樣樣啦。假設啦，如果喺 Latour Valley Airport， 然後風係大概由西南方而嚟嘅話咧，咁我哋就估計到我哋大概會用到嘅跑道就係 Runway Two One。咁 Runway Two One 咧就 Left Hand Circuit，Circuit Altitude 係一千二百尺 ，Overfly 係一千七百尺。咁啱都計過嘅 Top Descent 咧就要九分鐘之前 Descent， 因為我哋要開始要下降係四千尺，下降嘅時間係八分鐘，再加一分鐘做 Buffer， 所以下降嘅時間係要九分鐘。所以飛機係一分鐘前抵達 l a t r o Valley Airport， 應該會已經下降至一千七百尺，然後就可以保持一千七百尺 overfly height 飛到機場嘅正上方。然後機場嘅正上方咧就得到邊邊係 circuit side， 然後邊邊係 non circuit side。circuit side 嗰邊我就叫 live side，non circuit side 嗰邊就叫 dead side。然後就可以飛為 dead side 嘅一邊可以下降至 circuit altitude 一千二百尺，就可以 join 翻 midfield crosswind 或者 crosswind 視乎翻 circuit 入邊嘅 traffic。假設風係吹緊東北風嘅話咧，就有機會用到 Runway Zero Three 啦。咁啊，用翻我哋啱嘅 Top Descent。咁啊 ，ETA 一分鐘之前咧，我就應該會抵達到我哋嘅 Overfly h e 一千七百尺，又可以飛到去機場嘅正上方，知道邊一邊係 Circuit Side， 邊一邊係 Dead Side， 然後就可以喺 Dead Side 度開始下降至一千二百尺 ，Join 翻 Midfield Crosswind 或者 Crosswind on Runway Zero Three， 咁樣去進行一個降落。呢、这個就係 Arrival Briefing。當飛機仲有十五 mile 去到下一個 airport 嘅時候咧，就可以開始 listen on C T A F 啦。C T A F 嘅意思咧就係 Common Traffic Advisory Frequency。l a t r o Valley 嘅 C T A F 咧就係 one two six decimal zero。所有機場附近嘅 user 咧都係會用嗰個 frequency 去 communicate 嘅。然後 ten mile 嘅時候就喺 C T A F 度 broadcast 我哋嘅 intention 去 make 一個 inbound call。所有 airport user 如果佢哋一聽緊呢個 frequency 嘅話咧，就知道我哋嘅 intention， 亦都知道我哋飛緊去機場啦。我就示範一次。Latour Valley traffic diamond X-ray pa 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 is one zero mile to the west, three thousand eight hundred feet on descent to one thousand seven hundred feet, inbound estimated circuit time one two Latour Valley. 當場 arrival brief 同埋 ten mile call 之後咧，就可以揾一揾 lead in feature 去揾翻機場確實位置喺邊度。你就見到 Latour Valley Airport 喺兩個城市嘅之間，第一個城市叫 Moel， 第二個城市係 Trelgan。另外啦，向西邊咧都有一個好大嘅 mine site 係會飛經過嘅。而呢啲就比較大嘅 feature 啦。而我哋 navigate 嘅時候咧，都要應該用由大 feature 去到細嘅 feature。咁呢啲細啲嘅 leading feature 咧，譬如話係公路啦，咁就會見到喺 Latour Valley 以南係有一啲 highway 同埋有啲 railway 啦，以北有個 lake 啦，呢啲等等嘅 land features 咧，都可以幫助我哋揾 Latour Valley 嘅。之後飛機就可以繼續進場接近呢個 airport。如果機場齊實呢啲繁忙，有好多嘅飛機係 inbound 同 outbound 嘅話咧，如果有需要都係 make 個 five mile call， 甚至乎一個 three mile call 去 warn 其他嘅 airport user。有啲機場咧係冇 AWS 嘅，所以要決定用邊條跑道嘅話咧，就一定要睇個 wind sock， 就要睇風向係吹緊邊一邊去決定用邊條跑道去升降。
。當飛機 overhead 嘅時候咧，都係咩叫 overhead call？ La Trobe Valley traffic Diamond X-ray pa 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 is overhead the field 1,700. Conducting a windsock inspection. La Trobe Valley. 當 windsock inspection 之後咧，就可以飛去 dead side， 然後開始下降至 circuit altitude。與此同時，都要咩叫個 radio call？ La Trobe Valley traffic Diamond X-ray pa 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 is on the dead side of runway 21. 1,700 feet on descent to 1,200. Joining midfield crosswind for runway 21, the Troy Valley. 石油花水嘅入面嘅 traffic， 我哋都未必可以 join midfield crosswind， 可能要 join crosswind， 甚至乎要喺 dead side 入面做一個 orbit 先可以再 join 個 circuit。因為要記住嘅就係 join circuit 嘅 traffic 係要 give way 俾已經喺 circuit 入面嘅 traffic。Base call the Troy Valley traffic Diamond X-ray pa 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 is on base of runway 21, full stop. Number one, the Troy Valley traffic. 呢、这個 radio call 嘅意思咧，就要令其他 airport user 知道我哋嘅 intention 啦。咁我哋因為想做 full stop， 我哋就講 full stop。如果我哋係第一個降落嘅話，就講 number one。如果我哋前面有其他飛機嘅話咧，就講 number two。因為做 full stop 嘅關係，當降落咗之後，減速至安全嘅速度就可以橫行離開跑道。當離開跑道之後咧，有一條實線去代表跑道嘅範圍。當橫行過嗰條實線之後，就可以再做一個 radio call。去同其他 airport user 講，我哋係 vacate all active runways。Latrobe Valley traffic Diamond X-ray pa 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 has vacated all active runways。Latrobe Valley 跑架降落嘅飛機就知道跑道係可以安全降落啦。咁當 vacate 咗 runway 之後咧，就可以沿住 taxi map taxi 翻去 main apron， 咁就可以拍低翻個飛機啦。如果要入油嘅話咧，都要預先知道 fuel bouncer 嘅位置，然後 taxi 去 fuel bouncer 就可以入油。當準備喺 Latrobe Valley start up 之前咧，都要確保翻飛機係有足夠燃油同埋機油啦。咁當我哋 start up 咗之後咧，就試住翻 a w i s 係根據翻風向，然後就知道用邊條跑道咧，就可以 taxi 翻去嗰一條跑道去準備起飛啦。咁 taxi 嘅途中咧，都可以做一個 radio call。Latrobe Valley traffic Diamond X-ray pa 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 is on main apron taxiing for runway 21 Latrobe。如果個機場係有 run up bay 嘅話咧，就可以 taxi run up bay 做 run up 啦。Taxi 緊係 run up bay， 或者做 run up 嘅時候咧，都可以繼續去聽 C T F 嘅呢個 frequency， 去確保冇其他飛機係 inbound 或者 outbound 嘅。如果聽到其他飛機做 radio call 嘅話咧，就請你要寫低佢哋嘅 call sign。萬一如果要同佢哋 communicate 嘅話咧，就可以直接 call 佢哋嘅 call sign。喺 run up bay 嘅時候咧，都可以做一個 departure brief。咁假設啦，喺 La Trobe Valley 用緊 runway two one 嘅話，而我哋去緊 Leon Gata 嘅話咧，咁最有可能嘅就係做一個 upward departure。我哋爬升嘅高度係四千五百尺。做完 run up 之後咧，就去 taxi 去跑道，喺跑道前面嘅範圍停低，要確保跑道嘅 final 同埋 base 有冇其他飛機先可以 taxi 去跑道。入跑道之前咧，亦都要做一個 radio call。La Trobe Valley traffic Diamond X-ray pa 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 is entering and rolling runway 21 La Trobe Valley， 跟住就可以起飛啦。Overfly 近 waypoint 或者 airport 嘅時候咧，就可以用 T T T twist turn time twist 個 heading bug。咁扭 heading bug 去下一個 leg 嘅 heading，turn 轉架飛機去嗰個 heading，time lock 翻你個 arrival time。當 accepted 咗新嘅 heading 之後咧，就可以做 clear off check， 然後咧就可以繼續餘下嘅 navigation 啦。拋飛機之後咧，就可以睇翻飛機嘅 flight time、fuel burn 同埋 engine time， 然後寫翻喺 trip sheet 之上，然後就可以熄飛機。熄咗飛機之後咧，亦都要將飛機嘅 control lock 擺好，唔好唔記得一定要 cancel start time、sun canopy 同埋 pull 翻 canopy cover。當飛機已經收入收檔之後咧，就可以還翻飛機嘅鎖匙、folder 同埋 ELT 俾 receptionist 或者你嘅 instructor， 咁樣就一個 navigation exercise 啦。我哋今集就嚟到呢度，如果你歡有關飛機嘅 content 嘅話咧，歡迎喺 subscribe 我哋 Learn and Fly YouTube channel， 俾個 like 我哋。又或者如果你有任何問題，可以問翻你嘅 instructor 或者喺下面嘅 comment section 話俾我哋知。亦都唔好唔記得 follow 我哋嘅 Facebook、Instagram， 我哋下次再見 ，Fly Safe。